Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today's topic is about playing the cello while you're standing. And I'm going to share a couple of secrets and tips from my side on how to do this comfortably and successfully. When sitting with the cello, we've got four points of contact that give stability to the instrument and helps us balance it. So we have the end pin on the ground that supports the weight of the instrument. We have our knees touching the sides of the cello, which is where most of the balance and stability comes from because your knee stops the instrument from swiveling either left or right. And then the chest rest that leans against your body. So when you're sitting, the instrument is completely stable and you don't have to attempt any kind of balance in order to just play comfortably. instrument obviously the end pin is the first thing that needs to be adjusted to bring the cello back up to the height where it is comfortable for me to play so I'm not a particularly tall person I'm 1.65 meters 5.5 feet um, and I find that the height of this end pin that the cello came with is just sufficient for me so if you are any taller than that which is most people, you probably need to get an extension for the end pin. You either get the local steelworks company to make you something much longer or to have an additional piece that you can screw into this end pin. So now when you're standing with the instrument, you only have two points of contact. So obviously still the end pin that supports the weight and we've got our chest piece resting onto my diaphragm. The two points missing are obviously my knees. Now we have to figure out how to balance this instrument without having our knees to help. So the secret to this center of gravity and ultimate balance with the instrument is to involve your whole body. Feet should be about shoulder width apart. Your knees should be soft like a good tennis player and your hips and shoulders are definitely involved in creating this center of gravity and balance to secure the instrument and move freely. So as soon as I remove my left hand, the cello automatically tilts to the left hand side. Um, so in order for me to balance my instrument, I need it to be tilted towards my right. Um, and like I said, the secret to this is not just the instrument, it is to use your entire body to find this balance. So just to demonstrate this, my feet are apart, my knees are soft, and I'm going to use the motion of my hips and my shoulders to teach myself what this balance feels like. So I tilt the instrument a little bit to the right, I put it on my diaphragm where it usually goes, and then I try and find that balance. So I usually just keep my hand here a little bit, shift it over. There we go. Until I can take my hands away and feel comfortable to move. Okay, so let's try that high leg soft again. <laughs> cello is tilted in towards the right and even though my hips are moving I start with it slightly towards the left so cello has to be perfectly still and secure before I start playing so just a really important note on your left hand this cannot be part of balancing the instrument so you have to balance your instrument without using either one of your hands. 
Um, even though while you are playing, obviously the bow and the left hand are almost feathers of support, but only support. They do not balance the instrument ever. So I literally use my left hand just to support the instrument if I, for example, want to turn this side, shift my weight onto the right hand side. And this is merely to not become tired, to stay um, relaxed while playing. So one more note about balance and point of contact is if you have a look at the side view, the cello is not standing up straight. It is obviously leaning very much towards your body and your body will be leaning slightly forward. And this is why I keep saying it's really important to have your knees soft because as soon as your knees are soft, your body is automatically leaning essentially towards the instrument without it making it uncomfortable or unnatural. It's very much like when you're sitting on a chair playing cello, you will tilt slightly forward from your hips to meet the instrument. So the secret to playing this instrument standing up is really to find that point of balance so that you can have a sturdy instrument and feel completely free when you're playing. It's not just about where the chest piece is balanced on my diaphragm, but it includes my feet, knees, make them soft, hips. This is part of being balanced and being comfortable. Move them <laughs> and then, like I say, find that place and practice, practice this balance so that you're comfortable to take away your hands so that you can play and move freely. Hi guys, thank you for watching. I hope that was helpful and the next time that you're standing with your instrument, you feel more comfortable and secure. Please comment and ask me whatever questions you have and hit that subscribe button for some more tips on playing the cello and cello music.